In this example, we are asked to show that pi is equal to the sum of this uh, power series right here. And we are told that if we use the power series expansion for arctangent of x, then we'll be able to do this. So the first step to all this is to write down or to work out a formula for the power series expansion of the arctangent of x. Now, how are we going to do that? Well, the first thing that we can do is, rem remember the only real tool that we have right now is the geometric series, right? Everything that we've done has been related somehow to the geometric series. And what we can do is we can remember that the derivative of arctan, so the derivative of arctangent of x, is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And this looks like it's in the form of the sum of a geometric series. So we can rewrite this as 1 over 1 minus negative x squared. And at this point, we this looks exactly like a geometric series, okay? The numerator here is our a naught, and there's our r in the geometric series, and so we can write this sum. So this sum here is the sum n goes from 0 to infinity of 1 times negative x squared to the power n. And of course, we can rearrange this slightly and write this as negative 1 to the n, times x to the power 2n. Now we've seen this series before, but what we want to do now is we want to undo this derivative here to get the power series for arctangent. And that is of course done by just integrating, right? And we can integrate away our derivative over here by the fundamental theorem of calculus. And on this side, we have to integrate the terms of the power series. So we end up with this, the arctangent of x is equal to the integral. Now, what we have to remember is that when we integrate a power series, we have to always add our unknown constant, right? So that c is, is in front of this entire series. And then the rest of the series is equal to the sum of the antiderivatives of the terms, right? The terms of the series. And we can just integrate this up term by term. This c we'll have to try to solve for uh, soon, so before we're done. In other words, this is not an unknown c because we have a known function here. So our power series representation for arctangent is constant plus, and then we just compute here the antiderivatives. Negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1, x to the 2n plus 1. All right, and so again, this is equal to the arctangent of x. We need to know this c. By the way, the uh, radius of convergence here is not the entire domain of arctangent. So the radius of convergence is that x squared is less than 1, the interval of convergence, I should say. r is less than 1, right? So for a geometric series. And so this means that this only converges for x values between negative 1 and 1. So the domain of arctangent is negative infinity to infinity, right? But we can only represent this portion of the domain from negative 1 to 1 by this power series here. So we'll have, to, we'll have to keep that in mind uh, moving forward here. So at this point, though, what we need to do is we need to find a value for this c. And because this is a known function and we've got this interval of convergence here, we can plug in x equals 0 uh, to both sides. And it's always a good idea to use the center point of the series to plug in because at that point, the, a lot of the series will just zero out. If there's a constant term in your series, then that won't, but everything else will, right? And so what we end up with is that the arctangent of zero is equal to c plus the sum of a whole bunch of zeros, right? And so this portion is gone, that's zero. And actually arctangent of zero is also zero. And so we have to always check this, right? But the constant is just equal to zero for the arctangent series. So here's what we have, the arctangent of x is equal to the sum. n goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1 times x to the power 2n plus 1. All right, and now we go back and remember what our problem was. So we, all right, at, up to this point, all we've done is kind of take their hint and write down the power series for arctangent. Um, but we now want to show that pi is equal to this, right? So the, the value of pi is equal to uh, the sum of this series. The series adds up to pi. So what we need to do is compare this sum with our formula for the arctangent, the power series for arctangent. And we see we have a negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1, 
right? That's part of our power series for arctangent. So this portion is good, right? If we continue to compare, what do we have? We see 3 to the power n, all right? Well, that's fine, but how are we going to get that out of an x to the 2n plus 1? Notice we also have a root 3 out here, right? So, in other words, maybe those are related. Here, what we can do is we can pull out, notice that this is an x to the 2n, we can pull out one of the x's, all right, and we can write this as x times the sum, n from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n over 2n plus 1. This part we want in our series, right? And then we have x to the power 2n here. And if we want to make this be a 3 to the n and be in the, in the denominator right here, this is what we want, right? Then what do we have to make x equal to? Well, we can put x equal to 1 over root 3, which is, by the way, the same as root 3 over 3, right? So I'm going to think of it this way, though. 1 over root 3. Actually, I'm going to think of it two different ways. Let's use this representation on the inside and this representation on the outside. All right, they're the same number, so you can, you can do whatever you want here. And so this becomes, by the way, if I do this, I have to plug it in everywhere, right? If I'm going to make this choice for x, so let me rewrite the whole thing. So at this point, what do we have? We have the arctangent of 1 over root 3 equal to root 3 over 3 times the sum, n goes from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, 2n plus 1, and now what do we have? I'm going to use this representation. So now I'm going to have 1 over root 3, quantity squared, and then to the nth power, right? And we're almost there, so we just need to simplify this a little bit. Um, what are we going to do? Well, take the square inside, make that 3 to the power n on the denominator, that part's good, and then just evaluate this, right? So arctan uh, 1 over root 3, I like to think of this, by the way, as 1 over root 3, because in terms of tangent, tangent is sine over cosine, right? And so this is 1 half over root 3 over 2, um, and that, that shows you then, you can think of your unit circle right there. I mean, I just picture the unit circle. Um, sine is 1 half, cosine is root 3 over 2 at the angle pi over 6, right? Uh, by the way, 1 over root 3 is definitely in the domain. That's less than 1, right? It's less than 1. So, in other words, this everything we're doing is acceptable. We've chosen a value that is in the, in the interval of convergence of our power series. But anyway, we evaluate this arctangent. We get pi over 6. Over here, we have root 3 over 3, sum. n from 0 to infinity, negative 1 to the n, 2n plus 1. And then this can just be simplified as 3 to the n. Last step is to, of course, multiply through by 6. And we end up with this very beautiful power series representation of pi as the sum of this series involving the arctangent function.